a little surprised at what Kanye West said. I'm not really disappointed him on a personal level because I think he's a really big example of what people like to call fake woke people. People who preach a lot, people who talk a lot about things they really have no knowledge of at all when really it's just psychobabble. They take advantage of most people ignorance, you know, doing things like saying big words or just saying random things and just saying, oh, well, this is my opinion. You know, this is what I think I'm a free thinker. When reality is they're just saying a bunch of things for attention and they're playing on the fact that, oh, this is my opinion. So you can't try to refute it or try to put any type of logic to it. Speaking on my own social media platform, my YouTube channel. So I agree with freedom of speech. I'm a big supporter of the First Amendment. But when you go out on a limb and say crazy things like slavery was a choice, things like that, and then you expect to not get called out for it or anybody to try to debunk your argument, that's when it becomes a problem. It's okay to have your own thoughts. It's okay to have your own opinion. So, you know, to be a free thinker, as he says, but when you're gonna go on national television or social media and just say anything and think people are just supposed to go along with it, and not have anything to say about it, whether it's negative or positive, then that becomes a problem. Yes, you can say whatever you want. Yes, you can think whatever you want, but there are consequences and results to everything you do. I feel like Kanye West should be demonized for what he said. Not really, because that would be hypocritical. Like I said, he does have the right to say what he wants. Do I feel like he should be called out for it and challenged on what he said? Absolutely. If I go on this video and I just say something like, I don't know, just anything. Like, I don't feel like black people should vote for such and such. Or I feel like, um, just, just like some crazy shit. Like, I feel like gay people aren't as intelligent as straight people. If I say some shit like that that's really controversial that I know I'm gonna get a reaction to somebody, I can't get mad when, you know, media is tearing me apart or like so many people are trying to argue about it. You, you, you can say whatever you want, but you can't just say whatever you want and not expect anybody to have their own opinions about it. Finally, I'm centrist politically. I feel like black people can be democratic or they can be conservative. So I'm not really faulting, you know, Kanye West for, you know, being a Republican or whatever he, he considers himself. The fact that he's a Trump supporter all of a sudden, when years ago he's the same person that blurted out George Bush doesn't care about black people on TV kind of fishing to me i don't really feel like he even really truly supports trump i don't even think he knows what trump's policies are i think he's just doing it to be controversial i feel like a lot of the things he's doing and saying is literally just for attention i think he's playing on the fact that some people think he's really intelligent just to get a rise out of people we're in a society because we put these celebrities on these pedestals and we take everything they say and do serious and we try to model ourselves after them. But as soon as they say something we don't like or we don't agree with, then that's when we realize, you know what, maybe this person is crazy and all that. Although I don't agree with him, I think a lot of the things that's coming out of his mouth in these interviews are bullshit. I don't think he's crazy. I think he knows exactly what he's doing. That really bothers me about his statement is slavery not being a choice. I know he didn't literally mean that oh we you know we chose to get in shackles we chose to get on that boat it's the thing that so many people are actually agreeing with what he said when he probably didn't even fully you know elaborate what he really meant he was just saying something at the time a lot of people are trying to defend him like well you didn't watch the full interview or or such and such when he didn't even if, if he was being such a free thinker he was trying to uh you know state his mind how come he didn't refute or try to go back and forth well, what the guy on TMZ said to him, I can't think of his name, but how come he didn't challenge him what he said? How come he didn't be like, well, no, this is what I really meant? Because he was saying that for shock value. And the crazy thing about it is so many people are coming up, well, back in the day, they should have, you know, held a rebellion. They should have had some type of revolt. What about the people in Haiti? They must have wanted to be slaves. Kanye West is right. The thing about it is, dude, we got a 2018 mentality, a 21st century, you know, world. Like, we have technology. We have education, we have so many advantages that they didn't have back in the 17, 1800s or Jim Crow era or whatever. Dude, it's easy for you to talk about what you would or wouldn't have done when you live in 2018. Plenty of people that spoke up or probably revolted or tried to run away, but you know what happened to a lot of people? They got killed. Y'all ever heard of bug breaking? 
they would literally take a man of a household who disobeyed or did whatever it is they didn't like and they would literally beat and fucking rape him in front of his children to demasculate him. Imagine a society from when the time you're born up to the time you die, you're expected to work for free. Like literally, there are laws and systems that are designed to oppress you, literally. I mean, saying that slavery is a choice, it's a contradiction. I mean, what Kanye West have went on TV and said, well, all oh, the Jews in the Holocaust, you know, victim shame them, it's their fault. They didn't fight back against the Nazis. Like, what type of fucking crazy shit is that? Like, Frederick Douglass or Harriet Tubman or even Nat Turner, they were outliers. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure the average person did not want to endure slavery. Imagine a world where you're going to be killed if you do anything except what you're supposed to be doing constantly. Your family could be hurt anything i mean we didn't have social media it wasn't like everybody could just be a leader like hey there's gonna be a rebellion at such and such time you guys need to leave like it's not that easy so for someone to talk about like what they would have done and what should have happened that's a that's a complete just disrespect to our ancestors when you don't even know the full death of what they had to go through we don't even know shit about slavery Except what we see in things like Roots or just movies or things like that. You weren't alive back in that time. So how the fuck can you talk about what our ancestors should or shouldn't have done? That's like saying that a woman who got raped, it's her fault that she got raped because she didn't fight back hard enough. See where I'm going with that? That's like saying the Native American genocide is the Native American's fault because they didn't fight back hard enough. You know what I'm saying? That's victim shaming. So the fact that people are co-signing the bullshit he said and just going along with it is, is just ridiculous and it blows my mind. Like how many people will actually agree with him? People in Haiti fought for their independence and actually won, but those are two different things. First of all, Haiti is like a very poor country because of what they did. They owe the French billions of dollars that they could never pay back. So that's definitely not a good example. Plus, comparing a country like Haiti to all of the millions of slaves in the South, yeah. I mean, let's just be realistic. Let's say every black person was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm finna drop these tools, I'm finna not pick up this cotton. We all gonna fight the white man, kill them all, whatever. You think every black person in America would have been able to fight the US government? I'm not saying we should have been pussies or just whatever, you know, somebody would say, oh, you know, you want, you probably would have been a house nigga or whatever. All I'm saying is, do you realize that what you're saying is a lot easier said than done and you didn't exist back then? You don't know what the fuck it was like to, to be a slave every day for your whole life. So how can you speak on that? It's very, very, very disrespectful. For all these so-called people, yeah, back in the day, I would've did this and I would've did that. I couldn't have been a slave or I would've chose death or whatever. What the fuck are you doing right now in the 21st century since you're such a badass, since you're such a leader, since you're so bold? What the fuck are you doing? Where are all these leadership qualities since you could've been like Harriet Tubman or whatever, whatever the fuck you think you are? What you doing right now in the 21st century? Bet you a lot of these niggas talking all this shit about what they could've or how slaves should've dealt with slavery or whatever. Bet you they wouldn't bust the fucking grape against the police or the white man today. When I, don't, when I say white man, I mean like white supremacists because not all white people, you know, are, are racist or whatever. Like, if you reading this right now and you disagree with me and you feel like you such a badass and you would've stood up or whatever you say you would've did, what are you doing right now in the 21st century against white supremacist oppression? I'll wait. Kanye West is definitely exposing how naive and just how gullible and just irrational how a lot of you guys thought process is. It's okay to have an opinion, but lead a past out of it because you didn't exist back then, so you can't speak on it. Y'all not historians. Didn't live back then. You don't know what slavery is like. You could not possibly imagine the experience that our ancestors had. Or, I mean, maybe your ancestors were Native American, maybe Jamaican, I don't know. Maybe you a white person watching this and you speaking on it. Whatever it is, it's okay to have your opinion, but at least let it be rational and well thought out.